family here from Stuff To Do. Uh, we run a website called stufftodoathome.com. Uh, I've spoken in an earlier video about the three things we're focusing on at the moment, which we believe will help us change the world. Um, one of them is democratisation of the web. Uh, another is demonstrating a different way to work. And the third one is sharing our profits. Um, and this video is to talk about the first one, democratisation of the web, just in a bit more detail. So, what's it all about? Well, the internet is supposed to be a great democratic tool that we can all use to our benefit. But the fact of the matter is, is more and more over time, it has become a place where you can only succeed if uh, you have really expertise, time and money increasingly. So what that means is, um, and I see it very often, if you're a small business or a small charity um, or even an individual sort of trying to branch out and start a blog as a side hustle, all of these things, it's very, very difficult to get traction. And there are a wealth of um, resources out there, but of course, these people who are providing all of these resources for free, you know, how to, how to do digital marketing, are themselves um, blog owners. So what they're doing is giving you loads and loads and loads and loads of content because they want you to keep coming back and coming back and coming back to their own website or social media pages. And the fact of the matter is, actually, if you want to get a bit of traction, you can learn some very basic things very quickly and apply them. And within, you know, two, three, four months, depending on the age of your website, you will start to see some results. So one of the ways uh, that we want to help democratise the web is to, completely free of charge, is um, teach people this stuff, these quick and easy methods, quickish and easiest, easy-ish methods, um, and also give access to our experts within our business via webinars um, and uh, sort of training courses and things like that, all free of charge. So that's one way that we want to help democratise the web. Another way is, um, and we're actually working on this at the moment with a couple of charities, is if you are a small charity and you have got very limited resources in terms of money and people, um, it's difficult for you to maintain a website, it's difficult for you to do all of the things you need to do to get profile, to be visible, um, and obviously unless you are visible it's very hard for you to get the donations you need to keep running or to expand etc. So what we can do, because we have um, our team of in-house experts, we have writers, we have editors, we have digital marketers, all of these things, um, we can actually kind of do that for you. So it's almost like we host your blog. We write and host your blog for you. We don't charge you. We do it completely altruistically. Um, but what it means then is we can link those pages back to your own website, which means that if people are... Um, engaged by your story and what you're trying to do and are compelled to donate we can point them in that direction exactly so that's the second way we're sort of helping democratize the web along the way of course those people will also learn a little bit so um they may choose to take their blog back onto their own website and they're very welcome to do that if that's what they want to do the third thing that um we're doing that is separate but equally important i feel is we're trying to help older people or more technically challenged people have a voice on the internet. Because if you think about it, the internet now is the primary way that the majority communicates. Um, and if you're, you know, uncomfortable with technology, you might not be able to engage uh, with your social groups, with your communities. It might be really difficult for you. Um, so. We, we're help, trying to help people with training, so we're building a sort of the whole youth arm and one of the things that we'd like to pioneer is sort of partnering up uh, the younger people with the older people so they can sort of be their IT help desk and um, help them with using the technology, you know, getting set up on Zoom, things like that. And also on our own website, stuff to do at home.com. We've made it really easy to add an idea. So anyone who's got an idea but certainly would never be able to run a blog or want to run a blog could still get their ideas out there and be heard. And even if um, they're completely uncomfortable with the internet and don't want to even have to go and type into a web form, 
Well, we can arrange a call with one of our writers and they'll get the idea from that person and they'll write the page on their behalf. So these are all different ways that we're looking at making the internet more accessible for everybody. Um, and it's a really big part of our mission and uh, one that so far is, is working well for us and we have lots of plans going forward and quite a big roadmap on this. So if you're interested in this particular area, um, do go to the website stuff to do at home.com. I post regularly on our business page um, and um, you know keep in touch and uh, keep an eye on what we're doing.